Hi everybody, how are you? Uh, first I want to apologize for the lighting. It is nighttime and I am not at home so I don't have my lights with me to do uh, proper lighting. I have decided to do a look for breast cancer awareness month which everybody knows the color is pink. So I've got an entirely pink eye look and also my lips are a very bright pink. I'm hoping that it's going to come out good on the camera screen because right now in the little window over there uh, on my camera it doesn't look that uh, bright or that you can see it that good so I hope it comes out well. I just wanted to do a quick look for you guys and um, something you can wear, I don't know, you can wear this pretty much any time. You can make it more dramatic or less intense if you need to for whatever that occasion might be. So go ahead and sit back and watch and here comes my October Breast Cancer Awareness Month look. Thank you. Okay everybody, so let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. The first thing I'm going to do is get my eye primed to accept the makeup. I am using my Standby MAC Select Cover Up in NW25. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my ring finger and then put it over my entire lid. The reason this is my Standby is because it dries so nicely. It covers so good. and the eyeshadow just really sticks to it very well. Next, I'm going to go in with another standby, uh, standby product, not color. I'm gonna start with um, a paint pot from MAC called Bear Study. This is a light shimmery champagne color, and I'm gonna put this in the inner corner of my lid. And then I'm going to go in with another paint pot for the rest of my eyelid. And this is from the Posh Paradise collection, which is sold out just about everywhere. If you get a couple colors, you're going to be very, very lucky. I still missed out on the blue one. I don't even know what it's called, but I missed out. So this one is Nubile. And this is just a little bit darker than Bear Study. And it kind of does make me think of a flesh tone, although I know it's kind of um, a rose pink kind of color and again I'm putting this everywhere that I did not put bare study there we go so now I'm going to go ahead with an all over light shade and that's gonna be max yogurt and it is kind of a pink toned um, flesh tone but you may not be able to see it that well again I know the lighting is not very good this time I'm sorry um, but I'm gonna go ahead with yogurt all over my lid and I do this so that anything else I put on it will glide over very easily and um, I won't get any drag. Okay. Next, I'm going to go in with a color. Uh, it's a pink, of course. Everything's pink. And this is called Girly. Also a matte color. And you can tell I've used it to no end. Well, almost to the end. And um, I don't even know if they carry this color anymore. So I'm sorry. If not... You can use just use a medium pink color it does not have to be bright and I'm just putting this in my crease using a back and forth motion in my crease and just letting the brush rust on top of my eye ball we'll say and I just go back and forth until I feel like I have the correct darkness A little bit on the outside there. Okay. 
And, um, you know, I always like to do that because it helps to define the crease area. Sometimes when you put on that light shade, you can't always see um, where the crease is anymore. So I always do that even if I know I'm going to cover it. It's kind of just a, a guide. So the next color I'm using is called Sushi Flower. Oh, that's not going to... Maybe it focused. Who knows? It's a pink color. It's really pretty. The eyeshadows that I'm using today are from MAC. I do tend to have a lot of MAC, although I am challenging myself. This month I've bought quite a few drugstore brands to try them out and see if the MAC is worth all the hype. So you can see I'm just concentrating on the inner lid and I'm leaving the outer lid for my next color which is called Passionate. Oh my gosh, you can see my mirror shining on my face. Really bright. Okay, there we go. So this color is Passionate. Again, it's one from MAC. It is a bright hot pink and it looks brighter than it goes on, although you can make it that bright if you want it to be. So I'm going to concentrate this in the outer area of the lid. Coming into my crease. And that looks about even. From there I'm going to go with another color. Uh, it's called Sweet Lust from MAC. And it is a light pink with a little bit of um, glitter. I was trying to see if it's a frost. It doesn't look like it says on here, but it is very frosty. And I'm just going in the inner corner of my eye with this. And it looks like I should put a little bit more on this one. And there we go. And then I'm also going to use um, Max pigment called helium which is just a nice soft baby pink color um, you want to make sure that you tap off any excess before you actually put it onto your eye so that you don't have fallout I mean granted this fallout is going to be a light pink it's not going to be such a big deal um, but still don't need to deal with that if you don't have to and I'm going to also go to the inside of my crease here there we go So from there, I would like to put on some eyeliner. I am using Max Fluid Line. Um, the last video I did, I was using Wet n Wild, and um, Fluid Line has always been my number one. But I did recently try the Wet n Wild, and it works really good, really, really, really good. You should try it out, especially if you can't spend the, I don't know, fifteen, seventeen dollars, whatever it is for a Fluid Line. I would definitely say check it out. So. Without further ado, let's get some eyeliner on. I'm just getting a little bit on my brush. And I'm going to come in close. Eyeliner is one of those funny things like... If you do it all the time, it's easy peasy. If you stop and you don't wear eyeliner for a while... It's almost hard again. Hard to get close enough. I 
And what I'm doing right now is I'm just bringing it down onto just the beginning of my lower here. And I can see that this one is just a little lower than this one, so I'm going to add to it some more. That's better. Okay. And now I'm going to put some mascara on. As I'm losing lighting, I'm sorry, it is the evening. <laughs> so I've been using Sephora's Perfecting Lash Primer, which has been one of my current favorites and with this it comes out white you really just need to put it on the ends of your lashes and then go right over it with your mascara Put a little bit of eyeliner on my waterline. I guess I forgot to tell you that I was using um, Max uh, Bad Gal Lash for mascara, and I'm using uh, Max Feline Coal Power Eye Pencil for my eyeliner on the lower. Uh, waterline and the last thing that I'm going to do is fill in my brows just a bit you can see I already have this one done but I'm using an eyeshadow from Mac called Brun and normally I wouldn't use something this dark except for I really want my eyebrows to stand out and it's a very dark brown which my hair is dark brown to begin with, like very dark brown, but if you are trying to figure out what you might want to use to color in your brows, I suggest doing something that's just a little bit lighter than your brow color is to begin with. I'm just going to brush off any excess, and there you go. So this is the final look, heavy on the eyeliner, <laughs> pink on the lips, um, again for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, you know, it is October and that is something important. We just finished up at the Beauty College with our third annual Sonoma County Hair Harvest, so it just seemed like the right look to do. So thank you for watching and have a wonderful night. Bye.